Welcome from Hamburg to our webinar about the double degree program in engineering and technology management offered by the University of Technology in Hamburg and the Northern Institute of Technology Management. Our double degree program is a program which combines a Master of Science degree and an MBA in technology management. My name is Stefan Scheuner. I'm the Recruiting and Admissions Manager at the NIT. And I'll spend the next 40 minutes talking about what our program is like, what Hamburg is like, and what you can do with that sort of program. And as I said, the program offers basically a parallel degree in an MSc in engineering and an MBA in technology management. So what you do is you basically go beyond engineering and I want to spend the first couple of minutes telling you why we think that it's a good idea for you as engineers to go beyond engineering. First of all, we think that the future challenges of our planet and our society are at their core engineering challenges. If you think about sustainable water supply, energy consumption, CO2 emissions, digitalization, global logistics, all of these challenges are basically engineering challenges. And we want to give you the skills and the competence to get involved in the solution of these problems, not only in an engineering um, perspective, but also on the management level. And we want you to be skilled enough to become the missing link between engineering and the management world. This would obviously improve your employability quite a bit, and it would also give you an entrepreneurial mindset for you to create maybe your own business, if you feel like that. All of this is done in our unique double degree program in engineering and technology management. In a nutshell, our program combines 120 ECTS MSc program at Hamburg University of Technology which is a fully-fledged state-recognized university in Germany. And the engineering programs that you have there are listed here. They are all accredited by recognized accreditation bodies, and they basically cover the whole spectrum of engineering, from information and communication systems to microelectronics and microsystems, we got a mechanical engineering master's, a mechatronics master's, chemical and bioprocess engineering, which is a brilliant combination, which you don't get that often in Germany uh, in an international degree. And we've got environmental engineering, which is also a very um, popular degree with our international students. All of these programs are taught in English. TUHH obviously has a wide range of German master's programs as well. So if your German is already to C1 level, you can also pick from one of, I think, 14 German master's programs. These master programs are studied in parallel to our technology management MBA, which is a 90 credit points program, which is obviously also accredited um, by a recognized accreditation body. And the technology management program is what the NIT is operating and organizing. The degree for the technology management program, however, is also conferred by TUHH. Before I go into the details of the technology management program, I want to show you two things. First of all, I want to show you where you find more information on these engineering master programs. And secondly, I want to show you um, a little bit about Hamburg and how life in Hamburg looks like. The best source for information about these international programs is probably the website of TUHH. And I'll skip to that one in a minute. TUHH website, see that here. Find that under tuhh.de. And in that, um, you got an education section. You can click. And in there, you got a degree courses subsection. And then you can choose whether you're interested in bachelor's or master's program. And you can find a section on courses of study. 
and there you are. All of your international programs are listed here. All of your German language programs are listed here. And if you want more info, for example, in chemical and bioprocess engineering, for example, regarding um, the module handbook or the syllabus, you'll find all of these info here on these pages. I'm not going through all of them because that was at least take a day to go through all the info for six master programs. So you do that um, on your own, but now you know where to find all the important information regarding these programs, okay? Now, the second thing I've promised you was some information about TUHH and the city of Hamburg. And um, let's have a look first at how your life as a student on the TUHH campus would look like. TUHH was founded uh, in 1978, so a rather young university, and is host today now to 7,000 students, um, all engineering students. 20% um, of them are actually international students, so we've got a, a very diverse and international student body with almost 100 professors and uh, close to 700 academic staff, you have a very good ratio student to academic staff, so you'll always find somebody to talk to, to ask questions to, to help you. And the focus points or the special uh, research interest points of our university are green technologies with uh, um, research, for example, in renewable energies and energy systems. Another field of competence is life science technologies, very strong in medical engineering, for example. And thirdly, aviation and maritime systems. And these three fields of competences also mirror the sort of main industrial hotspots in Hamburg as well. Life on campus is very active. Um, you got a campus, or we are a um, campus uh, university in the southern part of the city of Hamburg, and all of the lecture halls and, 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 and libraries and all of that are all on one location. Mm, as I said, it's very active. We've got a lot of student associations, a lot of um, uh, activities around campus, like, for example, our Summerfest, which um, you see here, a couple of pictures of. Um, which is, which is something that, that we appreciate um, very much, especially with all the international students on our campus. Uh, a lot of opportunities for you to get involved in activities like, for example, the Formula Student Team, which is a um, Formula racing car team competing against other universities. And there's also a double degree student here, Devin, who studies our double degree. So a very uh, active member of that Formula Student Racing Team. There's a robo football team. There's all kinds of student associations. Off campus, you'll uh, get to enjoy the beautiful city of Hamburg, which is Germany's second biggest city after Berlin. Uh, 1.7 million people live here, which makes it a, a pretty big city for German standards. Um, probably the most striking feature of Hamburg is uh, the water, which is uh, everywhere in the city with the river Elbe running through it and the big harbor here you see that in the background um, this is sort of the old harbor and this is the new harbor uh, and there are also the Alster going through the city where you have a lot of opportunities for water sports like sailing or uh, kayaking or whatever you like um, on top of that Hamburg is a cultural hub for both A lot of concert venues, you got a lot of theaters, you got all kinds of cultural events going on, lots of restaurants, lots of bars, very good nightlife as well. So, Hamburg is a, is a very, very nice place to live, um, not only to live, but also to work. Hamburg is known as a major trade hub in Europe with one of the biggest ports in Europe. I think it's on third place in terms of uh, volume, which is being turned over there every year. Um, also home to a lot of high-tech companies, for example, in the semiconductor industry or in the aviation industry. Um, 
we got a very, very lively startup scene in Hamburg, lots of opportunities for graduate students to work after having finished your double degree. Um, another thing which is uh, unique about Hamburg is the amount of research and higher education facilities. Um, Hamburg has approximately 80,000 students enrolled in one of their I think it uh, must be close to 20 state accredited higher education institutions and on top of that you got a lot of research institutes where you could spend your PhD studies if you were to go for a PhD after your double degree. So a lot of opportunities for, for students that graduate from, from TUHH. Now I've uh, explained a little bit about how TUHH looks like and how the city of Hamburg would be for you and now I want to come um, to tell you a little bit more about the NIT, the Northern Institute of Technology Management, which is the institute that I work for and which is the institute that is operating the double degree program. The NIT was founded in 1998 by uh, 40 professors of TUHH and those 40 professors had um, the idea that, you know, in order to really have an impact as an engineer, what you need is not only engineering skills, but also management skills. So they founded the NIT as the provider for management education for engineers. And not just management education, but management education on a world-class level. And that's what they did by founding the NIT as a small not-for-profit institute, which it still is. Um, and uh, their special idea was also to have people from all over the world to come and study at the NIT. And that means that um, during the 20 years of its existence, the NIT has always been a place of international exchange and now has a, a, an international NIT alumni network of uh, close to 500 people, which are also still uh, in contact a lot and um, make this NIT community so special. We are independent from the TUHH, as in we are um, not uh, a part, an institute of TUHH. However, our degrees are conferred by TUHH. So you get the advantage of having a smaller organization on campus, which is providing a university degree from TUHH, which combines basically the, the, the best of two worlds. All of that is uh, brought into action in the program that, that has been our flagship program, flagship program for the last 20 years, and that's the Technology Management Master, which you can study at the, at the uh, NIT, for example, parallel to your MSc at TUHH. Our technology management program is taught entirely in English and attracts students from all over the world. Every year, uh, approximately 20 to 30 students, so it's a very exclusive circle, start the program in September. So the next program would start in September 2018. And um, these pro students come from all over the world. Most of the students actually live in our NIT building. The NIT building is right on campus of TUHH and um, offers uh, up to 65 student apartments for the international NIT students, but also for, for the German ones. And these students study their master program at the NIT with an international faculty from academia and industry. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. And very small and group-oriented diverse classes. I've mentioned the on-campus living opportunities for our students. I'll show you a couple of pictures in a minute. Um, and another thing which makes the NIT program so special is that we got very close and tight links to the industry which allows um, us to bring you into contact with a lot of companies during the two-year program. A couple of impressions from the NIT and the classrooms. We got, as you can see here, uh, very modern facilities. Um, in our teaching approach, we try to um, integrate as many group and um, project-oriented uh, formats as possible. What is also very important is that we combine our uh, seminars with excursions to companies. Here, for example, we visited the ArcelorMittal site here in 
in Hamburg that was with last year's class during the research and development uh, seminar and also to have uh, regular social events like for example the welcome afternoon for the new students or just last week our um, Christmas meeting with all the students where we brought food from all over the from all the different countries and had also our host families there to welcome the new students. I've mentioned the uh, diversity and the internationality of our classes and here you um, get a couple of statistics on that. Um, I said that roughly um, two-thirds of our students come from abroad with another third coming from Germany or having studied at TUHH already. We have um, a very strong uh, Asian contingent in our classes with obviously China, India, Indonesia, um, hopefully Malaysia as well as uh, one of the, the main incoming countries. Uh, Latin American countries are also very present in our group, Mexico, Colombia, Brazil being just a couple of them. Uh, last In last year's class I think we had 13 different nationalities um, so you will definitely get in touch with people from all over the world, work with them, live with them, celebrate parties with them so you'll uh, have a lot of intercultural exchange during these um, semesters at the NIT. For our students that um, are part of the NIT program, we have the opportunity to live in the NIT building, which is right on campus of TUHH. Makes it very uh, comfortable to go to classes from the NIT, which are just uh, down the stairs, or to classes at the uh, TUHH facilities, which are just a couple of meters um, on down the campus. This is one of our student apartments here, it comes fully furbished um, with a little kitchenette and your own fridge so you um, can cook also in your apartment. You've got your private bathroom which I think is very important um, and then uh, for sort of the more sophisticated cooking activities you've got a communal kitchen, you've got two of them with a little balcony on every um, floor. So uh, we have three floors of student apartments, makes it six kitchens for communal kitchen activities. <laughs> you've got a uh, communal room, uh, you've got a music room which all of the NIT students can use and where our band uh, plays. So if you're a good musician you can join the NIT band. We are always looking for new rec recruits there. Uh, lots of uh, things going on in the building as well and uh, for our students and from the international program we can reserve your place. Now let's talk a little bit about the program itself and about our philosophy behind the program. The first element of our program and of our philosophy is that we want the best lecturers to come to Hamburg and become a part of this teaching experience and of this learning experience. So. Yeah, what you have to understand is that the NIT itself does not have a standing faculty. We use what we call a flying faculty, bringing in handpicked people from academia, um, practitioners, industry um, to teach and uh, in our program, which means that we have a couple of professors from TUHH teaching in our program, but also from other universities like Queensland University of Technology in Australia or Portland State University. Um, also from business schools from all over the world, Cranfield, Queens, or IE, which is one of the top rated business schools in, um, in Europe. And then also researchers like from Fraunhofer, but practitioners as well. When it comes to project management or financial accounting, you really want a practitioner who has done what uh, he or she is talking about um, already a couple of times in, in, in real life to, to tell you how it works. And that's that's sort of the, the background that we um, that we use in terms of teaching. You can find more info on the um, respective teachers on our website to which I'll switch in a minute. Um, but before I do that I want to show you what these people are teaching and what you will um, you will encounter during your technology management program here at the NIT.
As I said, our program is a 90 credit points program with the classes being held in the uh, evening during the first semester, uh, two days during the week, um, every once in a while a weekend, and then a spring school in the first and then the third semester during the semester break. And the classes and the curriculum is um, explained here. There's detailed information on all of the modules on our website. I'll show you in a minute where you find it. But before I do that, I want to um, roughly explain the philosophy behind our curriculum. The first big block here is the General Management Foundation. And um, what we want to do there is uh, we want to go through all the things that you need to understand in order to know how companies operate. So we'll um, cover economics, financial accounting, and then there'll be seminars and workshops on the whole value chain from R&D to marketing, supply chain management, and operations management. And since we also want to make you aware of the consequences of your decisions and your actions as a manager, we include also um, law and ethics classes in this general management foundation. That's, that's very important to us. All of these classes are taught with interactive coursework, case studies, simulations, and so on and so forth. And they're all seen through the eyes of an engineer because all of our uh, students are either science or engineering background students. Once this foundation is covered, we want to give you the chance to specialize in one of two directions. The first one being what we call classic technology management, meaning classes uh, in technology management to learn how technology is used in a corporate environment, how is technology assessed, acquired, and developed into products in a corporate environment and an existing company. This also includes classes on organizational behavior where you learn how do classes, uh, sorry, how do organizations change or how can organizations be changed. So this is for all the students that want to become um, chief technology officer of a major corporation. And this is the classic check. If you are more interested in building your own business out of an idea, out of a technology that you might already have or want to develop throughout the curriculum, then the e track is probably something for you. The e track which stands for Entrepreneurial Management Track, is a project-based learning experience where you start from developing your own ideas about businesses or products and then testing that idea, uh, making it waterproof, trying it against other ideas, and making it into a business idea which will then culminate in writing your master thesis as a business plan for your own business and potentially also just starting that business, which is what a lot of students uh, do every year. So this is the project-based experience where you will get all the skills for uh, entrepreneurial management and also start developing and testing ideas um, and make them into your own business. Apart from knowing about management and possessing management skills in the domains that I've just described, we think that it's extremely important for you as future leaders to be able to communicate and work in teams. And that's why communication and leadership and foreign language skills are an important element of our curriculum. We have five workshops on communication and leadership, including project management, negotiation, communication and conflict management. Um, all of these to prepare you for working in intercultural groups. You will be doing that in all of the classes anyways, but with these classes you'll get uh, all the skills and maybe the theory behind how it works to work in a group. We also think that it's extremely important for you to be able to communicate in different environments. So we include foreign languages, in the curriculum for all of the international students that do not speak German yet, this will be German. Um, so you will have two semester courses in the first and then the second semester plus a certificate exam uh, to have a recognized language certificate in German. And also, and that's an, an extremely uh, good point of our program, 
before you even start your program, you'll get four weeks of intensive course in German. So we'll really make sure that um, that your German skills are developing in a way which would allow you to communicate in Germany and then also maybe um, work in the German environment during your internship, which is another part of the curriculum and what usually happens between the second and the third semester. And all of that obviously is topped with a master thesis, which is uh, to be written at the at the end of the program. The duration of the time the timetable for these lectures here is is four semesters, but you need to take into account that the master thesis has to be written, that there's another master thesis in your MSc to be written. Um, so, so we. Um, assume that uh, five semesters would be um, what you at least have to calculate for for the duration of the program. I've promised you that I wanted to show you our website and where to find more information on the curriculum. So let's just jump to our website, which you can find under uh, nithh.de. So this is our website, nithh.de. And, and this is, by the way, one of our startup founders. This is the CEO of Bentec, uh, uh, an NIT startup which has just been acquired by uh, by Drega, which is a major medical and uh, safety supplier. Um, very interesting story. Just go to our website and read about how they successfully launched their business and how it's now part of a major corporation. Um, based on the technology that they've developed here uh, at the NIT and TUHH. But that was not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you where you find info on our on our programs, our technology management program. There's a program subsection here. If you click on technology management, you'll find uh, all of the info that I just mentioned. And you also find the curriculum here. And this curriculum, shows you in an inter interactive way all the elements that I've just covered in my presentation. There's also a link to the module handbook if you want to know more about how these things are taught, and what the aims of these lectures are. But you can see you can click on all of the lectures here. And if I click, for example, on strategy and management, you'll get a little description what the aims of these modules are. You see who's teaching. So it's Mr. Professor Koch, who's from IE um, in, um, in Madrid. And for example, William Blake, who's from Queen's Business School in Canada. And at this one, you also get a little idea of how it looks in the classroom. Um, this is, I think, from the strategy seminar, uh, a video here that you can click to get an idea of what the classroom experience looked like, uh, what the NIT students look like. So um, why don't you go and check this out? Um, and see what all the modules are about uh, after the seminar, uh, sorry, after the webinar, when you've got some free time. So all of this is uh, the content of, of our program, and um, I think for you as an, as an engineer, this gives you all the skills that you need for your career in technology management. And once you've covered all these modules and got the, gone through all these elements, you uh, might be one of our happy graduates like um, uh, Felipe here from uh, Colombia, who did his MSc at the TUHH in International Production Management and did in parallel the MBA in Technology Management at the NIT. And Felipe um, appreciated the valuable management tools that he learned during the NIT program and stresses that the internationality, not only of the classmates, but also of the professors, really enhanced his intercultural and communication skills. And this is something that uh, all of our students say, that you get the management tools and the management education, and you get the intercultural experience and skills plus a fantastic community experience. So, and that's, that's really what makes this program so special. Now you see that Felipe graduated with a Master of Business and Administration from our program, the MBA. 
and that and uh, on a lot of slides I've also mentioned on that that you can study it with a master of arts and this is something which is also very very uh, helpful for our international students um, you have basically two ways to graduate from our program if you have already worked at least two years between your bachelor program between the end of your bachelor program and the start of the NIT program then you can graduate with a Master's of Business Administration from the NIT program. If you do not have this professional experience yet, but if you still want to uh, become a, a, a technology manager and become part of the um, NIT class, then you can be admitted into the same group of people into the same class, but you will graduate with a Master of Arts, MA in Technology Management from, from the NIT. So this is also a fantastic opportunity for students who have not yet worked for these two years to become technology managers. The program itself is the same, the same classes, the same seminars, uh, but you will graduate with a Master of Arts and those that already have the professional experience will graduate with a Master of Business Administration. I've mentioned the strong links that the NIT has to the industry and one example of these links is uh, Procter & Gamble, one of the biggest uh, consumer goods manufacturers on this planet and uh, we work closely with them, for example, in our industrial scholarship program, which is a program where um, several companies support NIT students with scholarships and NIT, um, uh, Procter & Gamble is one of those companies. Carsten Luckert, who's the uh, section head for engineering in the baby care department, uh, is working very closely with NIT students during their internships and um, has hired several NIT alumni. What they uh, and, and what he appreciates is the passion and the engineering and management skills that they bring to the table, and also the teamwork, cultural awareness, and all of that uh, is, is is taught in our program. So. Here's an example of how the industry links work and um, how your skills that you develop during the program help you also in your career. A good education is worth investing in. I mean, that's, that's obviously a, a very smart investment always. Our program, the MBA program, uh, in combination with the Master of Science in Engineering, has a program cost of 22,000 euros which includes all the tuition for the NIT and TUHH courses, which also includes obviously the international faculty that we bring to the NIT, the intensive foreign language classes that I've mentioned with the four week intensive class before the program even starts, and then the two um, semester classes plus the language certificate that you will uh, um, achieve. The support net here that we have at the NIT with tutors and teaching assistants both at NIT and also at TUHH. There's obviously also the um, amenities like semester tickets uh, for, for the public transport here in Hamburg which is a very very convenient thing to have. Um, lots of social events like our event meeting on the summer fest and an intensive student service by the NIT staff. Another thing which I've just briefly mentioned is our international host program where we couple our international students with a family from from Hamburg to make sure that the transition into the sort of uh, into your life here in Hamburg is made a little bit smoother and that you learn a bit about German culture, maybe speak some German with your host family. That's always a, a very um, very important part, I think, of the experience, and that's obviously also included in the program. There are various financing options for both tuition and the uh, cost of living that you might have. Um, please check the DAD website whether there is a special program between your country and, the, and Germany for cost of living that you can apply for. Um, we offer for international students, a range of uh, student loans, which we do in cooperation with the German um, savings bank, the Sparkasse. 
So that's also very attractive for international students coming to Germany. We uh, have a range of industrial scholarships, which I've already mentioned, for example, with Procter & Gamble, where students with a certain engineering background can apply for that scholarship. The application for those scholarships um, is included in the application for our program itself. And then you can, if you are considered, um, substantial amount of those program costs are covered by the company. And then there are further individual programs which you can read about on our website, like for example with Klaus and Simons, Diftung, uh, mostly for cost of living, which will also help you with your financial concept here. And before I tell you how to apply, I want to tell you a couple of stories about students that finished our program and um, and what they do and what it is that you can do afterwards. And um, I think uh, Vivek, for example, on the left here, is a very good example of a classical NIT career. Vivek is um, graduated from his master's in information and communication science. So is he, he's, um, I'd say, an IT engineer. And he also did the uh, NIT program with an MBA. and already during his studies he was uh, sponsored by NXP which is one of the biggest semiconductor um, manufacturers in, in Europe and he uh, did his internship there I think he also did his master thesis there and after graduating he became a part of their um, talent program and is now working as a product marketing uh, engineer where he translates the demands of the marketplace into technical uh, specifications. So roughly, he combines these two skill sets that he's developed and uses that for, for his career. Another very good opportunity to start a career and to use both the management and the engineering skills is uh, by becoming a consultant. And a lot of our alumni do that. Anna Christina, for example, went this way and um, she is now doing in-house consultancies for one of the biggest uh, European utility companies for Aeon, that's a big uh, energy supplier here in Germany. And she uh, started there as a senior project consultant and uses her skills in engineering and management to, um, to successfully manage these programs. And Srivatsa did uh, a similar thing, but not as an in-house consultant. He started with um, an engineering and management consultancy that you're probably all familiar with. Um, it's McKinsey, where he started as an associate after graduating in 2011, um, using also his skill set in engineering and management to, to successfully manage projects there. And uh, one uh, last example, Ernesto is one of uh, our first alumni. He's graduated in 2002. He's from Mexico. And um, he went back into academia. And uh, that's also an alley that's, that's uh, very popular with our students. So he, after graduating from our program, he um, did his PhD and is now a professor at Tech de Monterrey in Mexico, one of the best engineering schools in, Ameri in the Americas. Uh, so this is basically the, uh, the spectrum of opportunities that you have when you graduate from our program. Not included here are the startup examples that I've already mentioned. So that's always an opportunity as well to build your own business. And if you want to become one of those NIT, happy NIT alumni, um, then here's what you need to do. The application process for our double degree program basically works in four steps. And it starts, it all starts with picking your own MSc program. So the MSc program of your choice from TUHH, I, I've shown you the website where you can have a look at the various programs. And these programs um, are all described. And what you need to do once you've uh, decided on which program you want to study is, you need to do the so-called pre-check for your MSc program. So you select the MSc program of your choice and you do the pre-check for it. The website where you do the pre-check is uh, shown here. And I'll, I'll show you in a second how to find it on the TUHH website. Once you've done 
the pre-check, when you successfully pass the pre-check, which is sort of the first hurdle, you'll get an email with a link for the TUHH online portal. And that's uh, where you then log into, select Master of Science and IT, and then upload all your documents, I'll tell you which documents on the next slide, to this portal. So once you pass the pre-check, you get the link for the TUHH online portal where you will pick Master of Science and then upload all your documents. And once the documents are uploaded, they will be evaluated by TUHH and they will decide, based on your documents and only your documents, whether you can be admitted into one of the MSc programs. So they will look at your grades, they will look at the content of your um, bachelor, they will look at the university that you went to and decide whether or not you can be admitted into um, the MSc program. And if you have an admission into the MSc program and have also applied to the NIT, by picking Master of Science NIT in the TUHH portal, then all of your documents are forwarded to us, to the admissions team of the NIT, and we look at the documents as well, especially at the um, statement of purpose, which is the motivational letter, and your references, and then if we think that you are um, a possible candidate for our program, we would invite you for an interview, and after the interview, the admissions committee would decide whether or not um, you can be admitted into the NIT. So all of this is done in, uh, in a process that starts with a pre-check. And here's the timeline for you. The application window has opened. So the pre-check uh, window has opened on 1st of December. So you can start your application now. And you have to finish it before February 28th uh, next year. So February 28th for uh, start of studies in September is your deadline. Be aware that you need to do the pre-check before February 20 because this February 28 deadline um, applies to, this, to the actual online portal. So you need to have all your stuff uploaded until the end of February. And since the pre-check it itself will take about a week, we recommend to do the pre-check before February 20. Well, actually, I recommend to do the pre-check now and then upload your document respectively. Since I am so you know, um, keen on you doing the pre-check now, I also want to show you how to find it. It's on the website for TUHH. So let's jump back to the TUHH website, which is this one here, tuhh.de. And then you got various uh, options. Um, for example, if you click on the application section, application for a regular study place for a bachelor or master's degree, this sounds reasonable, let's click on that. Then there comes uh, something in German, which you should just switch to English. Welcome to the application portal. You agree with the privacy statement, of course. What would you like to study at TUHH? Well, let's say a master of science in English and then you pick the one that you want. It's important to understand here, you only choose the MSc program. So let's say you are an IT person and you want to do information and communication systems, and then you can apply here. This is, I, I must admit, you need to do a lot of clicks before you actually come to the pre-check, and that's this one here. Welcome to the online pre-check, where if you start, You'll enter your name, obviously your email address, and so on and so forth, and then provide information on where you have studied, what you have studied, your G GPA, and all of that. And that, that will then be used to make a reasonable assessment whether or not admission is realistic. And only if you've passed that assessment, you will be allowed to upload stuff in your uh, application um, portal. Okay, so that's the pre-check. Um, and that's where you need to start. So it all starts at the TUHH website. Maybe um, uh, if that was too complicated, and I have to admit it is slightly complicated, I can show you another um, uh, way to go. Uh, let's say you start from fresh, TUHH.de. 
this is once again the German version. Let's switch that to English. Um, to uh8.d. There's an apply now button here, which will lead you to exactly the same page that I've just shown you. But there's another way. If you click on education, which is uh, something that you could be familiar with, and then click on application here. And then instead of clicking on this this way button here, you can also click on master international programs on the right hand side. And if you click on this how and when to apply here, I think that's the easier way to go. Um, you'll get all kinds of info about how to apply, what you need to provide. There's the application di guidelines that you can download. So um, I highly recommend you to go this way. And then you can um, you see that the first step is the pre-check and the second step is the actual application portal. I recommend you to just click on this one here and you're immediately at the online pre-check. So um, my experience is that you know this way is a little bit quicker than the, the one that I showed you first. Um, just click on education, application, and then international study program, and then you'll have this how and when to apply thing appearing uh, with all the detail application guidelines here. The application guidelines are very good. You need to read them carefully, and, and that should answer all your questions. So coming back to uh, the actual presentation, let's have a look. Um, these are the four, four steps, and I've just shown you where to find this. This is the link for it. Um, if you go on to uhh.de and click to the education and then the application section, you'll be able to find that. Don't forget that uh, this is your deadline. And now I want to show you just briefly what you need to prepare um, in terms of documents. You need your study certificates and the transcript of records from your bachelor. In um, in German or English. So if you're in university issued them in English, then you can use that. If they don't, then you need to have it translated either in English or in German with a certified or notified translator. Um, if you are from China, or I think Vietnam, you need also the APS certificates, but that's only China and Vietnam. For all the other countries, that does not apply. For the application, it, it is sufficient to have them as scans. Once it comes to enrollment in Germany, you obviously need the originals. What you also need is a CV. You upload that with your documents. You need a proof of English proficiency for uh, all of the programs, which could be a TOEFL of more than 90 points or an IELTS of more than 6.5 points. You need a statement of purpose, which is actually the motivational letter where you state why you want to join the double degree program, why you want to become a technology manager, why a certain company is interesting and should um, consider um, giving a scholarship to you. All of that goes into the statement of purpose. And then two letters of recommendation from, for example, your supervisor from your bachelor thesis or some other academic supervisor. And um, if you're now wondering how these letters of recommendation should look like or how the CV should look like, well, um, you find all of the info on what we expect in terms of documents on both the TUHH application guideline, which I've just shown you, or the NIT website. So if we go back to this page in the application guidelines, which I will not download right now, but which you can download. You find descriptions on how the CV should look like, um, what the statement of purpose should look like. Find it all on there. Or if you go to nithh.de, you can go to the admissions section and choose double degree international because that's what you want to do. You want to do the double degree with an international MSc program. And then everything I've just mentioned is also described here. A couple of key facts on the double degree program. Who can apply? How do I apply? Where do I apply? What are the requirements? All of these things are explained on the NITHH website. Uh, the, the steps with the pre-check, the application portal, and so on and so forth. And down here is also a list of all the documents that you will need and a description of how they should look like um, and what is accepted and what is not accepted. And also um, regarding the two letters of recommendation, 
there's described what they should be like and a standardized form which you can send to your referee and which he or she will then hopefully send back to us. So now this was a very detailed explanation on how the uh, on how the application works because I know that most of the questions are always about uh, how to do that so I spend a little bit more time on that um, for you to see how it works and um, if there are any more questions regarding this you can obviously always contact um, me or my colleague Xia Xingxiang from uh, the NIT admissions team and the two of us are more than happy to answer your questions about how to apply or what the curriculum is like, um, what life is Hamburg like. Um, all of these can um, be sent to me by email uh, to admissions at nitha.de and, and uh, Xiaoxing and I will more than happy to help you with all of the questions that you might have. So with that, um, I want to conclude and if there is anything else that you want to know, just drop us an email, check out our website. Uh, we can always um, schedule a, a Skype meeting so that we can talk face to face if there's anything else you want to know. Um, and I don't uh, want to finish before saying thank you very much to the DAD for organizing this, for making this possible. Thanks a lot for your attention and uh, we hope to see you in Hamburg soon. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss aus Hamburg.